Good morning. Okay, Donald here. So, today we're going to be making nest boxes out of five gallon buckets. I'm having to redo this because I had four other ones I'd made out of five gallon buckets. And I thought they were pretty snazzy. The problem is, they're too shallow for my birds. Um, they like to get in here and scratch and kick everything out including eggs which and doesn't make me a happy person so um now i got these chickens they're they're one to two years old and they had nest boxes uh at the previous owners so maybe that's the problem i thought these would be deep enough but it doesn't matter if i put hay or pine shavings in or a nest mat they kick it out so anyway so today i'm going to make um deeper ones and i probably won't cut them as far back either um i sit there and i watch like two or three of them try to get in the same nest that's what chickens do you can have other ones and they they choose one or two so it doesn't really benefit you to have a bunch of nest boxes okay so what i do is take a bucket five gallon bucket um, I would like to be able to get the square ones, but hadn't been able to find one. So I went down to Walmart, three bucks, uh, pretty good price for a, a five gallon bucket. You can't hardly beat it. Now, before I went, put a straight edge across and drew a line, <coughs> excuse me, about halfway across the bucket. Well, as we see here, and from all the broken eggs and, and kicked out, uh, uh, nest material that isn't enough and this is a this is kind of new I guess this is about halfway I didn't see this on the other ones um, these little marks here I don't know if I'm sure you can see them on so anyway so this time I'm going up maybe about two-thirds and draw a line across there got a little sharpie here and I'm doing this while holding the the, the uh, camera so um, bear with me um, I, yeah I know I need a tripod I've been telling myself that for a long time so okay I'm, and I'm gonna go across here just use a straight edge take it off let's see what it looks like um that may be excessive I don't know but we're gonna try it and then I kind of just eyeball it down the sides like I said this and this one was as you can see a little over halfway I'm going to take this one, this new one, a little less than halfway. Just, you just try and get a, a idea. And, and the th neat thing is, if you don't, I didn't get that lined up, but you get the idea. Um, if you cut it too big to begin with, you can always trim it down. However, if you cut it too small to begin with. Ain't much hope of adding. Ain't much hope of adding uh, more to it. So anyway, this is my new dimensions. I'm gonna get off here. I've got my trusty Bosch cordless 18 volt jigsaw. I'm gonna cut this out real quick, and we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay. So here's the new one I made. As you can see, let me see if I can. Okay. See, you can see the difference. Hopefully. And get them lined up this this top one is uh, more open and this new one's going to be a lot deeper the bedding will be deeper this will be uh, shallow, uh, shorter should give more privacy and make it harder for them to kick out uh, the bedding so anyway you know you live and learn so I got one more to do um, I've got six chickens two nest boxes or nest buckets and um, by the way, I just want to add that this is not my original idea. Uh, I've seen this on another homesteader's um, uh, YouTube channel uh, when they were showing about their chicken tractor. And so I'm just kind of, you know, winging it. Um, I can't remember their name right off the bat. I will try to have the link to their site, uh, their, their channel, in the description below. So anyway, here you go. And as far as dimensions, I don't know, that's probably about uh, six inches back. And this one is 
this one is a lot more as you can tell it's it's quite a way so it's almost almost double that so that's a that's a tube of six right there which is five and half something like that yeah we're, we're five and a half to six inches back uh this is should should do it so anyway um i'll get you updates as soon as i get them installed in the chicken coop so anyway donald out here my little dog he's mad he didn't get to come outside this morning it's kind of chilly for him so anyway hey stay tuned okay here we are here's the old boxes and, and yesterday i filled these full and you can see what happens they kick it out uh, scratch it out and then they either don't want to lay the eggs or they bust the eggs by two or three of them getting in here together so this is why i made the new ones they're deeper um you know you think any self-respecting chicken would love these but they get up here uh the hay they kick the hay out and they kick the pine shavings so i'm gonna get these new ones installed hopefully i've got the room to get them in um probably something i should have considered when i designed it but i didn't think i'd have to replace these hence the reason to use plastic five gallon buckets but anyway let me get these in old, old ones out get the new ones in see the girls they're they're enjoying themselves this morning uh, then had a pep talk with them about laying more eggs and not being butts kicking all the nesting out but anyway let me get right back these old ones out new ones in and we'll see how they do okay first one installed here we go um yes when you're designing your chicken tractor make sure you can get the nest boxes in and out this is like a chinese puzzle trying to get this thing in i had to go up here to my opening toss it all the way back fish it up and then when i got it set i remembered another detail um <clears throat> walmart and a lot of other buckets have this big flange on them you need to cut that off uh, at least on mine i did the way i had it you see i got a little uh places for the buckets to set well this would this made it angle up so um <laughs> forgot about that till i got this one in and that so now not only was it booger to get in there now i'm trying to cut the flange off of it so anyway if your buckets have this flange and you don't uh adjust uh make plans for that with your your boards to hold your nest then you'll have to cut them off so anyway okay let me get the other one in let me get some uh pine shavings in and then we'll take a look at it the girls are i think they're anxious to to see what it looks th these look like <laughs> okay here we are as you can see these hold quite a bit more and so hopefully uh this will help prevent them from kicking out their bedding plus another thing you want to consider when you design your own chicken tractor is right through here this is a two before and i had the buckets all the way this way against that but what i didn't consider the this bottom lip was below the two before so when they got in here a lot of the bedding was going down here coming out the bottom and so i had to put a one by four down the bottom here uh to close that gap up so you you know when you do this you might want to use a two by six going across here or just make sure or one by six just make sure that there's no gap you know at between the you know this board and the bottom of your bucket where they can kick kick the bedding out so anyway there we go new improved uh nest boxes if these don't work i'll probably just go get some plywood and build nest boxes but this is going to work i've done told them it's either stop kicking the bedding out and give me more eggs or somebody's going to visit the crock pot and i think they as you can see they're pretty worried about that yeah yeah they're they're all ganged up over talking about who's going to lay today so anyway okay donald for the one acre homesteader we'll catch y'all on the next video hey don't forget to like and subscribe down here click that little bell to get notifications uh some of you say you don't get no notifications when i post a new video uh click that little bell and every time i post a new video you'll get a no notification so anyway thank y'all for liking subscribing put this on your playlist and uh, catch me on the next video thank y'all